Hello and welcome to another edition of Kitchen Creations. My name is Regan and today we're going to be making homemade tortillas. Today's recipe is very simple. So the things we're going to need for the, this recipe is two cups of all-purpose flour, one quarter cup of salted butter, just a little bit of extra salt to make sure that our tortillas are seasoned. We're going to be using about half a teaspoon three quarters of a cup of water that's about 110 degrees. So there's a few different ways we can measure how hot the water is. One, if you have a thermometer, obviously you can use that. And the second is if you have a good imagination, you can imagine sticking your hand in a hot tub and it being just slightly too hot to sit in comfortably. That would be about 110 degrees. Uh, we're gonna need a large mixing, mixing bowl, a cutting board, and a coffee because it's morning for me. Before we do any cooking today, make sure you wash your hands really well because we're going to be mixing this mostly with our hands. Okay, so into your large mixing bowl we are going to add two cups of flour. Next we're going to add just a pinch of salt in there. I'm using that pink salt because why not? Once we have our salt in the flour, we're gonna just spend five seconds just giving it a quick whisk to make sure that it's all incorporated. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cut our butter into smaller pieces to allow it a better chance of mixing thoroughly into our flour mixture. Adding in butter into a dough like this is kind of what separates tortilla dough from like a pasta dough where you'd have eggs incorporated into the mixture. The addition of fat in there um, is going to allow your tortilla to be a softer, more pliable uh, type dough so that when you cook it, uh, you're actually going to be able to wrap it and it'll stay flexible. So once we have our butter kind of all chopped into smaller pieces here, we're just going to add it into the flour mixture and start to mix it with our hands just until this butter is, is fairly well dissolved into there. It doesn't have to be a thorough, thorough type mix. It's just to help the butter break down into smaller pieces so that when we add our hot water, uh, we don't end up with butter solids in our, in our dough. Once you feel like your butter has been fully mixed into the flour, we're gonna go ahead and add in three quarters of a cup of, remember, 110 degree water. We happen to have a kettle that you can set the temperature on. So we've set it to 110 degrees. We're going to add in three quarters of a cup. The beauty of this is you can just start mixing. Just start mixing. You're supposed to use a fork for this. I forgot that I had a fork sitting right there. So it's going to get a little sticky. And once your dough forms a bit of a ball into the, in the bowl, what we're going to do is pull it out, make sure that you know, all these little Klingon guys get in there too. They're just as important as the ball. Don't make them sad by throwing them in the sink. They can be a tortilla too. So now that we have our little dough ball, we're gonna spend a little bit of time kneading this. And what that's gonna do, what that's gonna do is it's gonna actually stretch out uh, the gluten fibers in there and we're gonna get a nice chewy texture in our tortilla. If we were just to go ahead and make our tortillas out of this, it would, it would kind of just be a lumpy, um, less desirably textured type tortilla. So we'll spend the extra time and it's gonna pay off in the end. And if your dough is getting too sticky, what we can always do is add just a little bit of flour. So now that we have our dough all kneaded, it should be a really nice, soft, and pliable texture. Our next step is gonna be to cut these into smaller pieces, uh, get them covered in the fridge, and allow that butter to tighten up so that we get a nice uh, dough for our tortilla. Now you can cut these into as many or as, as few pieces as you want. If you want one giant tortilla, just leave it as one. If you want a couple or four, six, eight, it all depends on how big a tortilla you want to have. I'm going to cut ours into six pieces. And the beauty of doing homemade tortillas is, is you don't have to be super accurate. They're never going to look identical to each other, but they are going to taste way, way better than anything you buy in a store. We're just going to kind of press these into a little bit of a disc shape, 
just to make it a little bit easier when we start rolling out to get it started into the right shape. So we've got one. I'm just gonna keep going until we get all six flattened out into these little discs and in the fridge. So there we've got our six flattened discs of tortilla dough. Those are gonna get wrapped in plastic and set in the fridge for roughly half an hour. We will see you back here and we'll roll them out, get them cooking, and we should have some tortillas ready to go in about an hour. All right, so we've taken our tortilla dough out of the fridge. Um, what we're gonna do is kind of grab one. We're gonna start to roll it out into the shape of our finished tortilla. Now they're gonna be a little sticky still, um, which can be a good thing to help you roll it and a bad thing to help you get it off the countertop. So we're gonna put a little bit of flour down. Now you can use a frying pan for this. We're gonna use this electric frying pan here. I've got it set at its highest setting. Uh, you're gonna want a nice hot pan for this just because you want it to spend as little time as possible on your cooking surface because the longer it stays there, the longer the more water, more moisture it's going to lose and it won't be as tender, it'll be more crispy so it'll make a nice quesadilla but not so much for a burrito. So we're going to start to press this out into a circle with our hands, working from the center, kind of working your way out almost like you're doing a piece of dough. So we'll most Tortillas would be done in a press. Um, if you're like us, we don't have one of those. So we're going to be doing it with a rolling pin. If you don't have a rolling pin, you can use a wine bottle, you can use a, like a Frank's Red Hot Sauce bottle, something circular and hard. And we're just going to go from the center out and a quarter turn. And again, center out, and a quarter turn. We also want it very thin because the thinner it is, the faster it's going to cook and the less moisture we're going to lose. So as we kind of peel it off of there, we want to be able to stick our hand underneath there and just kind of barely see the color of our skin through the dough. And that's how we know we're at the right thickness. Now to place this down to our cooking surface, we don't want any folds. We want it to be nice and flat. So let's see how we do here. Good. Okay, so now we're just going to watch this to make sure that we get a nice even cook. And as soon as we start to see some bubbles forming, we know we're at a good point to flip over. Okay, so we're seeing bubbles kind of forming through the dough again. We're going to go ahead and pull it off and place it on a cooling rack. Now we're just kind of on the cooling rack right now. It's nice and pliable, it's not cracking. Or anything like that so we know that this is going to roll up and make a nice burrito or a wrap a veggie wrap if you wanted to spread some peanut butter jam on there or something like that uh, for a nice little after school snack or a, or a lunchtime snack that type of idea uh, if you wanted to do a quesadilla with it you could totally do that as well so that's basically it you guys um, simple homemade tortillas with essentially two ingredients and a little bit of seasoning. Uh, it doesn't get much easier than that. So give it a try. Uh, maybe post a picture of what you decided to put in it. If you wanted to do a quesadilla or some kind of an interesting wrap, uh, send us a picture and a, and a description of what you did and we'll post it in the next one. Enjoy your Monday and we'll see you back here in one week for another Cooking Creations recipe.